photographers trying to get the following moves on film. The men are set to vault. And here's one of the huge numbers in the program. Ionis Melisanidis of Greece. Now he has two amazingly original vaults. Oh, what a difference a day makes. He did that so perfectly in the qualification round to get into this event final. Here's the Yurchenko entry. Shoulders are not open enough. He does not get the height required for two saltos. Already saw him in the Floor X final. One more look at this huge vault. Shoulder angle is, a, is slightly closed, Scott, so he's not going to get the air time he needs, and that has to be painful. 9137, just to let you know, Melis had a 9837 in the all around competition on the vault. That was the mark of the meet for the men. Now he's planning a different entry, but he's supposed to do two saltos, and you know what? I'm almost relieved he didn't attempt the second salto. He's obviously not focused, and this is a sport where you really have to be on your game, really have to concentrate. Here, he decides to bail out, and I think wisely so, performs just one salto, and he'll go home and rework those two vaults for Sydney. 8075 the second. The average is 8606 for Melisanidis of Greece. There will be no medal in the vault. Uh, when you get to the vault competition for the men, the specialists come out. Evgeny Sapronenko of Latvia, one of the smaller republics of the former Soviet. Now you can see by the number to his left, he's planning the exact same vault that I noticed just crashed on by Evgeny way up in the air. No trouble at all. We talked at the beginning of the show. These guys are on another planet. This guy has tons of air time. Easily fits in two saltos. 9-6-3-7, so he scores much better than Melisanidis of Greece on that first vault. And now here's the second. They average the two for the final score. This time a forward double salto. That's a roche. Showing unbelievable skill, Scott. He is doing the first vault, two saltos backwards, second vault, two saltos forward. A lot of variety. <laughs> really very impressive. Look at the strength in those legs as he holds on to that landing. Little wave to the crowd. I think he's gonna like this result. 9656 is his average, puts him in first place, and this would be a bit of a breakthrough if Latvia could medal. Dieter Rem of Switzerland is up next. And this is an event where you just run down and you give it your best shot. Oh, excellent control, fighting to save that extra tenth. Also showing a Rocher. Swiss crowds here, they have their cowbells in hand, the flags for Dieter Rem. Way up in the air. Knees look good. He's not cowboying it, which means straddling to get extra rotation. So form in the air is quite good. 9662, the first. Gets set for the second and for an average score that will put him hopefully in medal position. Souk entry, double twist. Tell you what, the Swiss are not the largest contingent here, but they are certainly the loudest. Vaulting is a really interesting event. Split-second timing. If you blink, you miss it. Years of work go into that one fraction of a second. 9275 for the second vault. 9468 for Dieter Rem, currently in third position. Li Xiaoping of China, 18 years old from Hunan, a member of the world championship team here in Tianjin, and as always, the Chinese crowd on side. He looks so composed, so calm, but now you have to get fired up blast down the runway <laughs> he does exactly that Yuchenko half on front one and a half off Chinese are beating the drums for Li Xiaoping Chinese champion on floor X and bars but boy can he vault here's the half turn bumps it way up in the air 
front layout with the one and a half twist. His angles are good. He really had a straight body right to the landing. Nine six seven five for the first volley. Won a silver medal at the Asian Games in 1998 on this apparatus. Now, like the women, the men are also expected to do two different vaults, and he does unbelievably effortless two and a half. What's incredible about that vault, Scott? Completely a blind landing. Two and a half, he cannot see the floor. That's pure anticipation. Comes in, that's the Sukahara entry. Watch, he can't see that ground, doesn't know where it is. Years of practice, lots of dedication. Oh, the previous drum roll almost as a pro. You do a gold medal, and there it is, 9668, the average for Li Xiaoping as he takes the vault here at home. Li Xiaoping, the gold. Sapronenko of Latvia, the silver. Dieter Rem of Switzerland takes the bronze medal in the men's vault. Up next, the women walk the line. The delicate balance beam finds the limelight when we return to the World Gymnastics Championships on CBC Sports Saturday. The Street of Lanterns as the World Gymnastics Championships from Tianjin, China roll along. Scott Russell joined by Carol Angela Orchard anticipating the women's balance beam. Uh, your favorite event. Let's give the specs. It's about five meters long, one meter and a quarter off the ground. But here's the big one, only 10 centimeters wide. And for Ling Jia and her compatriots, not much room to work with. Oh, no room for error on this event. And that's fairly obvious. But I guess the reason I like this event the athletes have to be able to develop every skill, physically and mentally, to be successful. It's not enough just to have the tricks. They have to be so aggressive to make them happen. Think of it as a stage. It's a lot like doing a floor routine. But way up there on only 10 centimeters, <laughs> Ling Jia is making it look effortless slightly off direction on her full twisting chest roll but only a minor 0.1 deduction the Chinese literally own this event with skills just like that that's a yang bow jump her head was all the way back she could actually see her foot <laughs> in the air but could not see the beam Now, we talked about a complete package, Scott. Physically, technically, and psychologically competent athletes will win this event. And China has had trouble over the years winning on beam. They've always had the best routines. But psychologically, they often cracked under pressure. No cracking here. That was a lovely routine. Very, very composed. Crowd roars its approval for Ling Jia, who's already won a bronze medal on the uneven bars. Punch front salto, again a blind landing, right into a changement of jump. 9-7-7-5, up early in the order, Ling Jia of China.